Hi, and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. In this section, we're going to cover the very important topic of density and temperature, or temperature and density of a material, and also its basic definition, what it means in everyday life, and also what it means in terms of chemistry, because as you know, most of the challenge in doing well at chemistry, and also of, of most courses, is really getting a good understanding of the definitions. Once you get the bedrock down, then moving on into the more, you know, what people think of the complicated material is more and more complicated material gets easier and easier. So here we're going to talk about temperature first. Temperature is something you have everyday experience with. It's something that you kind of think you have an everyday association and understanding of, and in fact probably you do. What we're going to do here is put some, some real definitions to it. So let me ask you this. What do you think the concept of temperature is? I mean, we know that when we grab something quote unquote hot, has a higher temperature, it burns our hands, right? We also know that if we go outside on a cold, snowy day or go into the freezer and grab something that feels very cold and, and, and arctic and just chilly, it has a lower temperature. All right, so both of those things actually in the extreme can burn you and hurt you. And uh, why do you think that is? If you grab something, let's say something's very hot and it burns you, why do you think that that happens? Well, in a basic sense, temperature really is a measure of how much energy something has, a physical object has. The higher the temperature, the higher the energy content, we say, the kinetic energy of, of motion of the, of the atoms and the molecules inside of that material. And so we say it has a higher temperature. So when you watch your thermometer go up to, you know, 50 degrees, 70 degrees, 90 degrees, whatever, what we're really saying is that that material with a higher temperature has had more, has, has more energy. It means the molecules, the atoms, whatever's made up of, that material's made of, is literally vibrating more uh, vigorously, really is what it means. So if you grab a hot object, that energy that's in the object is transmitted to your hand and it, and it ends up uh, damaging your tissues because it's sending that energy of motion right into your hand and it kind of, on a microscopic level, kind of rips it apart a little bit. That's why you get burned, right? So in a nutshell, that's what temperature is. Higher temperature means more internal energy of something. Lower temperature means lower energy of, of motion of the atoms of the molecules. So let's put that into words and let's, we'll talk about temperature scales here also. So the general concept of temperature, if I had uh, to give it a, a definition that I would write on the board, it would be the measure of the internal energy 